Opening game of the season, Ron Rice for Georgia Tech. Last year they lost to Alabama in the season opener. And here we go. Line drive and deep into the end zone, through the end zone. Great kickoff by the big sophomore, Ron Rice. The touchback will bring Alabama to the 20-yard line. There's the man, Ken Cole. He carried the ball 14 times last week for 108 yards, the leading rusher, leading rusher on this team. Third and eight for the Crimson Tide. Opening series, Coley hits immediately. Good play. Hit first by number 43, Lance Gelton. Tackled by number 41, Ted Thurston. Third and 12 for Georgia Tech. Kelly, great drop. And he's in trouble. Down he goes. Mike Pitts, number 81. Warren Lyles, number 91. All in on the tackle. What happened is Jones couldn't get to his wall. If he gets to the outside, he's got a touchdown. Georgia Tech covered very well. On first and 10, carried by Ken Simon up the middle, the fullback getting some good yardage up to about the 43-yard line. Wishbone offense for the Crimson Tide on second and three. It's Coley, number 11, the quarterback making the turn. Fine run by Ken Coley down to the 40-yard line of Georgia Tech. But he's okay now in the starting quarterback. Sends Caruth in motion to the left. And Simon with the football for a first down. Look at that second effort by the fullback, Ken Simon, busting across the 30 for a first down. Third and four for Alabama to 24. Fagan in motion to the right. Coley still has the football. The pitch back to Carruth. Carruth for the first down, a fine run inside the 10 yard line. 15 yard pickup for Paul Carruth. Second and goal at the five. Here's the double wing situation. Coley drops the football, and Georgia Tech has it. Recovered by number 43, Lance Gelton. Lance Gelton, the linebacker, recovers, and this is what happened to Alabama last week. Kelly, the quarterback, on second and nine from the nine, goes oh. up the middle, and boom! Goes Warren Lyles, the nose guard, number 91, hitting Jimmy Stanley, the junior running back, and boy, did Lyles ever hit him. Mark Schultz, the center, is not going to be able to handle Warren Lyles. Warren Lyles is a big defensive lineman, and he just... Played the play perfectly. Just take a look. He pushes Schultz out of the way, one way, backs him up. He took him back about four oh. yards, throws him out of the way, and then makes the tackle. Great strength. Warren Lyles was the defensive player of the game, the Cotton Bowl. You're watching Alabama going on offense against Georgia Tech. Walter Lewis, number 10, is the quarterback. He fakes and goes back to throw. First pass of the game, throwing deep down the middle for Joey Jones. He's got a touchdown. What a play. A perfectly thrown pass. Walter Lewis! They took off just a little bit too soon. Had he waited, had the wall waited maybe one second count to shoot him, it would have been better off to the uh, turn there. Kelly carrying, goes nowhere, thrown for a loss by Russ Wood, number 89. Walter Lewis. Rolling. Got men on the right side. Goes to Joey Jones, who breaks free! Joey Jones is tripped up! He almost went. Sammy Brown, number 21, tripped him up. Otherwise, Joey Jones was gone. Third and six for Alabama to Georgia Tech 43. Crimson Tide leading seven to nothing. Walter Lewis going back, looking to the left. It's incomplete, intended for Larry Brown. And there's the Bear looking it over. He was 68 years old on Friday. Happy birthday, Bear. Bear catch called for it, bounces at the five, and the Tide downs it at the three. A substitution infraction against Georgia Tech. Ken Coley, number 11, back at quarterback. Alabama on a third and eight from the 35. Coley fires to the right side to Bart Crowd. He's got a first down inside the 25-yard line. A tight end, senior Bart Crowd out of Birmingham. At the 16-yard line. Coley keeps it this time, goes down to about the 11. That's a first down for Alabama. That gives that back all the options he wants. Second and three on the four-yard line. It's Caruth carrying down to the one-yard line. Flags go down. Caruth, when checking he, it out. Caruth, when he sees this play, if he'd have stayed to the outside, would have scored. Of course, it would for not anyway because of the penalty. Third and 17 for Alabama on the Georgia Tech. 18-yard line. Bart Krause, the tight end, out to the right side. Coley. 
Oh, not much happening there. He's thrown for a loss. Good hit on the play by Marvin Diet, number 74. 36 yard field goal try. Peter Kim, number three, in the try it. Gray holding. The kick is long enough, and it is good. 36 yarder. Peter Kim is two for two this season. Second and four. Taylor has time over the middle to LaFette. The running back out of the backfield down to the Alabama 43-yard line. Brought down by Castile, number 19. Center is Mark Schultz, number 60. Pitch back, lost the football. Cohn gets it back. It is second and 17 for Georgia Tech at the Alabama 49. This is Jim Bob Taylor running out of bounds at the 45 and hit down out of bounds. There's a flag going down. Bill Curry, the coach, came running down the sideline. He was upset, but the flag went down. Kenny Thompson, 84, wide right. Taylor, the pitch out, another bad pitch out. And LeVette has to fall on the ball. Back at the 36 or 37. Second time, Jim Bob Taylor, I think he's thrown a bad pitch out. Third and 15 for Georgia Tech. Taylor, looking, looking deep. Throws, complete to Kiesler inside the 20. At the 18, it's gonna be good for a first down. Taylor handing off to LeVette, he's inside the five, touchdown! The freshman, Robert LeVette, a 13-yard carry, and Georgia Tech has gone on the board. He went on to that big 26-3 win. Ball fields number one at quarterback, pitch back to number 25, Lenny Patrick, and Patrick rips it up to the 29-yard line. Good run by the sophomore, Lenny Patrick. Second and half a yard for Alabama, just short of the 30-yard line. Fields. Hands off right up the middle to the fullback. Ken Simon, number 20. And he's got 20. Picks up six on the play. It's a first down across the 35. He gets to the outside. He can score. Second and five. Fagan carries. He's got very close to a first down. Wayne Wood, leading tackler on the Georgia Tech squad. Lenny Patrick around the right side. Makes the turn. Long gainer. Look out. And Lenny Patrick down to the 25. 26 yard run by the right halfback Lenny Patrick. Third and six for Alabama. There's that right side again, it's wide open. Fields looking to throw, being rushed, gets rid of it, it's short, incomplete. Good rush on the play. Kim, who connected on a 36 yard field goal earlier, will try from 39 yards out. Gray will hold the kick straight away. 10-7 Alabama leading it. Kim is two for two this season. It's on the way. Oh, is he good? The junior from Honolulu, Hawaii, Peter Kim, 5'8", 164 pounds. Jim Bob Taylor with Georgia Tech for their touchdown. Kelly handing off inside to Ronnie Cohn, the fullback. Cohn looking for a first down and got it as he busts across the 30 to the 33. He picked up, picked up 10 on the play. Georgia Tech on third and 13. Kelly swings it out incomplete. Intended for Steve Henderson, the fullback, a senior out of Decatur, Georgia. Bill Curry said we can't make mistakes. We've got to control the football and keep the defense off the field. They are doing that. Double wing back situation. Walter Lewis back in the quarterback. Fires. Gets complete up the 40-yard line to Jeff Fagan coming out of the backfield. He was a wing back to the right. With 105 to go in the first half. Alabama leading 13-7. Walter Lewis going to put it up again. Throws out to the left side. And it is complete for number 80, Tim Clark. At the Georgia Tech 41. He had a foot in bounds, and that's all you need. Alabama first and 10 at the Georgia Tech 41. 57 seconds to go in the first half, and Lewis will throw again. Rolling, looking, throws intercepted right into the hands of number 41, Ted Thorson. And Thorson is brought down at the 46 yard line. That time, not a good pass. Goes right like to Thorson. Sets down. Cone the fullback, not much, that's it, to the 49-yard line, pick up a four, and that will just about run out the first half. Robbie Jones, number 97, made the tackle. Bear walks calmly off. Bear said uh, he wasn't too happy last week with Alabama's play in the second half after a great first half against LSU. We'll see what he says about this one. 
The score at halftime here at Birmingham, Alabama. The Crimson Tide of Alabama, 13. The Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, 7. We'll be back with the second half in just a few minutes. Meanwhile, stay tuned for Sports Center and an update on all the sports news. In motion is Wisenhunt. Decides to go the other way. Kelly over the middle, complete to Wisenhunt up at the 25-yard line. He is wrestled down by number 57, Eddie Lowe. The tight end, Wisenhunt, who went in motion. 6'3", 190-pound sophomore from Augusta. Pitts ran him out to the outside and picked up the back. Beautiful Jeff, play. Jeff Pierce, his sixth punt of the game. Joey Jones. It bounces short and is down by Georgia Tech at the 44-yard line. Brown and Kraut. Hand off to Lenny Patrick for a first down out of the 42. Lenny Patrick, number 25, who looked so good. I don't know if that was named after you. I'm not no. sure. Pitch back. This is Jeff Fagan, number 35. Good run. Bubbles the football. And Georgia Tech's got it. Well, a good 10-yard pickup by Jeff Fagan, but he was hit hard, fumbled. Third and eight at the 40-yard line. Kelly right back. Over the middle short, intended for Ronnie Cohn, the fullback. And Kelly was just getting rid of that ball. Joey Jones back deep for Alabama's Jeff Pierce. Punts for the seventh time in the game. Pierce, this time it's a good kick up in the air. Flags go down. Takes a Georgia Tech roll, good roll. Down at the 15-yard line, we may have had roughing the kicker. They were 1-9-1 and one last season. A win over Memphis State and a tie with Notre Dame. Kelly holds on to the football and goes for the first down at the 33-yard line. Georgia Tech on the move, first and 10 at the Alabama 33. I formation for Georgia Tech. Kelly is hit, it hits number 81, big rush. From the left side, Russ Wood, number 89, from the right side. Wisenhunt comes to the right, right side and set. Mike Kelly, the quarterback. Looking, deep, throws, deep, and it's incomplete. Intended for Keith, the flags go down. Wilcox, number 15, went up for the ball. Second and 10, Georgia Tech at the 22. Kelly, being rushed. Throws it out to Ronnie Cohn, the fullback. Has a blocker in front of him. Inside the 10. He goes down to the one-yard line. Touchdown! Touchdown, Georgia Tech! Ronnie Cohn taking that little screen pass from Mike Kelly and pulling his way into the end zone. And the game is tied at 13. Bart Kraut, the tight end, goes wide right. Lewis still has the football, decides to run, he's tripped up, he fell over his own blocker, Ken Simon, and he's tripped up, short of a first down. Ah! Kelly drops straight back, looking, throws, deep down the right side, it's right to the interception, Jeremiah Castile, Castile number 19, picks up a few blocks, he's going wide to the right side, he looks for some room, Kelly goes after him, he sheds the tackle, Castile still on his feet, goes to the goal line, touchdown! What a run! There's a flag on the play. There's a flag down back at the 24-yard line. An incredible run. We'll make the signal to the crowd. There's the clip on Alabama. Wing back to the right pitch back to Lenny Patrick, number 25. He turns the corner and goes inside the 30 down to the 27. Mark Sheffield is the safety man playing corner out there. The corner is right in the middle of the line behind the linebacker. It's open again. Coley around the right side. Coley inside the 10. Ken Coley. Wing back to the right side is Fagan. Coley pitches to Lenny Patrick. Goes in. Touchdown. Can I call a play or can I call a play? Nice going, Coach. <laughs> Coley. Collins, number 37, led Lenny Patrick. All right, Bear wants a seven-point lead. It's 19 to 14. Going for two, Coley, the quarterback, takes to Collins, has the football. He goes in. Two-point conversion for Alabama, and they lead it 21 to 14. And a little cheer, a little applause by the Bear. Well, Third and a long one for Georgia Tech. And they go into their wishbone formation. <laughs> Fullback is Steve Henderson. Drops the football. Jim Bob Taylor drops the football. And it looks like Georgia Tech has recovered. It'll be fourth down. Georgia Tech didn't want it to happen. as mistakes. And that's in the second half. Two of them in the, in the third period. The interception. And then missing the ball. 
All fields for Joey Jones, incomplete. They're looking for a flag. Joey Jones wanted interference. He's upset. Second down. And 10 for Alabama. Fields with a football number one. Holds on to it. Bumble. Goes to the 40. Loose ball. And looks like Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech has got it. They recover the fumble. Another Alabama turnover. And Bear Bryant is beside himself. He trails 21 to 14. Kelly, quick throw to the left side. It, it is complete to number 86. Denny Rochester. That ball, I believe, was intended for the tight end, Wisenhunt. Third and eight for Georgia Tech at the 18-yard line. Kelly. Straight back, throws, complete to Etheridge at the 10-yard line. Inside the 10 to the 9, it's a first down, Georgia Tech. 12.55 to go in this fourth quarter. Georgia Tech first and goal at the 9, quick pitch, complete to Wisenhunt, he drops the football. He drops the football, the loose ball, and let's see, Georgia Tech saying they got it back, and they got it at the 3. Great catch by Wisenhunt. Kelly with a long count. Great back, looks to the right side. He right. gets rid of it. Loose ball, and let's see, it's incomplete. It's ruled incomplete. Ron Rice, sophomore place kicker, who only kicked long field goals last year. Soccer style kicker will try a 28-yarder. It's on the way, and it's perfect. 11 minutes, two seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Alabama, 21 Georgia Tech 17, what a game we have. Second down and nine. Wing back to the right side is Fagan. Pitch back to Lenny Patrick, number 25. Nice hole for Lenny Patrick, he almost broke it. Good run for Lenny Patrick, brought down on the play by number 97, Mike Martin. Well, you see the defense, look at, look at the defense. The only man downfield is Mark Sheffield, the safety man. He's a strong safety man. Everybody's to the inside. The linebackers are getting caught. They're sealing everything off. Number 52, Rob Horton, is not getting to the outside. Patrick cuts back inside, picks up the first down. 13-yard run for Lenny Patrick. He's had a big day. He carries again. This time he's hit immediately by Mark Sheffield, the strong safety, number 36. Good play by Sheffield. The junior out of College Park, Georgia. Sheffield played that play very well. Simon came out to block him, and he, he went low on him. Sheffield just went right over the top and right into the ball carrier. Second down. And nine for Alabama at the 35-yard line. Crimson Tide leading 21-17. to Their second game of the season. This is the season opener for Georgia Tech. Good dieting. Coley. Going left, not much there, went to the short side. Sheffield took him down at the 40-yard line, and Alabama will be forced to punt. Some kind of coach to bench an All-American. Kelly to put it up. Has time, throwing deep for Wisenhunt. He's got it! Wisenhunt, Wilcox after him, and Wilcox pulls him down at the 24. Oh, that man has got great hands. On second and 11, Kelly over the middle, complete to Etheridge. Let's see, that's 84, correction, not Etheridge, that's Thompson. Kelly to LeVette, touchdown! Georgia Tech takes the lead with 3.57 to go in the game. The freshman lost his jersey, <laughs> but held the football. There it is, third and 11, Coley. Pitches to Caruth, he may throw it, he's being rushed, and down he goes at the 11-yard line. Rob Horton, number 52, made the tackle. Alabama will punt Malcolm Simmons, five yards deep in his own end zone. Rushes on, he gets it away. Fair catch by Thurston at the Alabama 45. 2.42 to go in the game. Kelly, long count. Kelly to call him the fullback, and he's got the first down and more. Look at that cutback. Oh, don't go back that way. <laughs> Wrong way, Ronnie. Bill Curry's got his headset off. He said, all right, just run, run as much time off the clock as you can. Go okay. wide with it. Don't run up in the middle of that line. Take the right side of the field, run wide. Fourth and 11, 29 seconds to go. Kelly falls on the football. 
Alabama has no timeouts remaining. 23 seconds on the clock. The ball's at the 35. There you see it all. And the numbers say 24-21. Okay, Walter Lewis is in at quarterback. Looking. Deep. Looking. Throws to the right sideline for Fagan. He's got it at the 4 out of bounds. He's to the 33-yard line. 15 seconds to go. There it is. 50-yard attempt for the junior Peter Kim. It's on the way. It is going to be short. No good. Georgia Tech wins. Georgia Tech has come into Legion Field in Birmingham and upset the Crimson Tide, a 24-point underdog. The Yellow Jackets of Georgia Tech defeat the Bear and Alabama 24 to 21. Incredible. Do you love the underdog? <laughs> you you got to love the oh. underdog. The Bear isn't too happy. But I'm very happy for Bill Curry and the Georgia Tech team and the fans of Georgia Tech. He has taken and turned that program around, the football program around. You talk about some happy people. 